It is Wednesday, June 29th in the MLB, and I'm Austin from Calling Our Shot. And I'm Logan from Calling Our Shot. We are back with our three favorite picks of the day. We got one player prop, one no run first inning, and one money line pick coming your guys' way. As always, guys, just do us a real quick favor and go down and hit that subscribe button. It really does help us grow this channel. It takes 0.5 seconds out of your day. And trust me, it brings a smile to Austin and a nice face. We love our subscribers out there closing on 35K. Thank you guys again. Let's recap yesterday. A pretty solid day. We're going to hop into our official picks. Two in one day. Cardinals minus one and a half. Made a sweat for it, but did get it done. Even cashed their first five run line. We'll talk about that in a second. Brewers raised Nerfy cashes that. It was a little sweaty, but we'll take it. Charlie Morton, oh, brother. Man, that guy had 17 outs. We needed just one out. And, of course, he ends on 17. They yank him after he gives up a hit to Bryson Stotts, who's batting like 160 on the year. A brutal day, and I don't know what I'm going to do if I lose another player prop on the hook like that. But let's recap a parlay of the day because, boy, oh, boy, the parlay cashes. Like I said, Cardinals minus 0.5 in the first five cashes that. Braves clutch up, plus 285, a great winner for our parlay. It's always on Odds Jam, so if you want to check it out, it's back on Odds Jam today, this morning. Go check it out. Top link in the description. We certainly would appreciate it. Only have one note today. So we have a podcast going live at 10 a.m. Eastern time. You guys know we post our podcast every Wednesday. Today, Logan and I ranked every single NFL team. We're only a couple months away from the NFL season. We want to get our itch for the NFL season back. So if you want to check it out, be posted at 10 a.m. Eastern time. I'll link at the top of the, uh, the pinned comment down below. But, Logan, what do we got for you people today? What do you got for the people? Yeah, we've, we've got a first five pick, right? We're going to the Blue Jays versus Red Sox game, and I'm taking the Blue Jays run line in the first five innings, so minus a half. Currently minus 115 odds on DraftKings is the best value as Austin's pulling up here. It's pretty standard across the books. I'll go ahead and take the minus 115. Now, look, I, I am taking the, the first five run line. Again, if they tie, this is an L. We need them to be leading by one, one or more, and I think they will, right? Last time ver- versus – last time – Alec Manoa faced Boston. They won the first five. It was one to nothing. Super sweaty. I would prefer it not to be that way to, uh, this time. But I think uh, Alec Manoa will definitely give us a really good chance to cash this bet. Versus the Red Sox, seven innings pitch, zero in runs, and a .57 whip versus Boston this year in his, in his only start. I love I love Manoa, how he matches up versus these Red Sox hitters because he's just a really surgical pitcher. He's, he's very tough to face, and a lot of these Red Sox batters, Struggle versus him, right? Manoa, 2.15 ERA at home this season. Really solid. I mean, he, he pitches well at the Rogers Center. And Boston hitters versus Manoa, I told you they struggled, right? I pulled some of their splits. Devers, 1 for 6. Martinez, 0 for 6. Bogarts, 0 for 3. So our Austin's favorite little hits parlay in there, today might not be the day to do it, all right? I'm, I'm hoping those averages go down even more, and I hope Manoa is surgical versus this Boston lineup because I think – He's definitely a, a, you know, he's their ace for a reason. Now for the, for the Red Sox, we've got Nick Pavetta starting four and two thirds innings pitch, two earned runs and four innings pitch, five earned runs versus the Blue Jays this year in his two starts. So, I mean, the, the five earned run type performance. Yeah, absolutely. Give that to me all day, Pavetta. Toronto second best in OPS at home, third best in batting average at home. Toronto's a really good offense, offense at home. And I hope they play like it today. That's all I'm asked. Baseball's a little bit fluky. You know, sometimes he's good offenses at home. Just drop a goose egg on you. Not today, Blue Jays. Toronto hitters versus Pavetta, though. They 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 have great splits. Bo Bichette, 8 for 19, batting 421. Uh, Springer, 6 for 12, batting 500. And Guerrero Jr., 4 for 16, 250. Uh, all versus Pavetta. Those are some of the key guys that I think need to step up today and hopefully produce today versus Pavetta. And I think they will. All we need through five is a one-run lead. And I think the Blue Jays will get us that. So that's why I'm riding their first half run line, minus a half. Austin, what do you got for a player prop today? All right. Like I said, if we end on the hook again, I'm not sure you'll see me in tomorrow's video. But today I'm going Jamison Tyone of the New York Yankees, over 17 and a half pitching outs, minus 119 on Caesars Sportsbook. So we see Caesars only book with the line. DraftKings will put, put up their line a little bit later. Now, I know people sometimes don't have outs props, so I want to give you at least two different uh, options. Now, I actually do kind of lean – Tyone's under and strikeouts say, I do not think this is a big strikeout game for him. I think this is a big pitch to contact game, which is kind of what we'd prefer out of Tyone because I think he's a better pitch to contact guy than a strikeout guy. But I also like him to record a win, which is plus 115. We think about the Yankees minus 280 on the money line today. So ask him to record a win, probably an easier way to get that done. Now, this is an early start, 105 p.m. Eastern time tip off. 
or first pitch. And we're not in the NBA season, but free agency is on my mind. But we think about this as going to be an early start, so get it in early. Now, Tyone, under this line, four straight games. He had 12, 15, 17, and 17 outs. Now, you can put those in innings pitch, but just for the sake of this bet, I'll put them in terms of outs. All four of those games came against very good offenses, Twins, Cubs, Blue Jays, and Astros. You could argue maybe the Cubs aren't the strongest offense, but they do have annoying hitters. That is a Cubs team that will get on base and will drive in some runs if it's their day. And we look at some of those games, three of them, he allowed eight plus hits. Like if Tyone's allowing eight plus hits today, this bet's not standing a chance. But I don't think he's going to do that against an A's offense that, let's be honest, not very good. 29th in runs, 30th in hits, 30th in batting average. It's a team that struggles to get guys on base. And that's what we're hoping they do today against that Tyone. They just struggle to put runners on base. Tyone can just work through this lineup pretty easily. Prior to those last you know, four starts in which Tyone had one under, the three previous starts, he had seven plus innings pitch. This is a guy that's perfectly capable of going six plus innings pitch, which is all we need today. We look at his experience versus the A's team. 30 plate appearances versus them. He owns just a 238 expected batting average. I think that's a pretty good line. I think his strikeout percentage is actually like 26%, which is pretty good for our Tyone. He's not really known as a strikeout guy. Now, the Yankees, we have to do note, they did use four bullpen arms yesterday. I don't expect them to have to use, hopefully, a lot of bullpen arms today. Uh, they probably don't want to continue to use up that bullpen. They know to go far in in October, you need a healthy and fresh bullpen. They obviously would love if Tyone can give them at least six, maybe seven innings pitch today. You also want to look at Tyone's other props. Like, how do the books think he's going to do? Under two and a half earned runs is minus 205 on DraftKings, like minus 190 on Sharper Books. So they don't expect him to get rocked. If they were putting, you know, two and a half at like plus even value, then maybe I'd avoid Tyone. They're like, oh, what do they know? They don't have it that high. Now it's over four and a half hits is minus 140, but he can give up four or five hits if he's pitching to contact. They can get a couple singles and whatnot, maybe early on in the count. But we look at Tyone. There was the 15th fewest pitches per plate appearance in the MLB. We also look at the A's. They see the fourth fewest pitches per plate appearance out of any team. I think the Yankees are perfectly comfortable letting him throw 90 plus pitches today. Yesterday, their starter yesterday, when they had to use four bullpen arms, was J.P. Sears. He did go five and two thirds innings pitched, end up yanking him at 17 outs. And if they do that today to Tyone, I will end it all. But they only let Sears throw about 78 pitches. So I think they'll let Tyone throw easily into the 90s. We look at 17 of the last 25 pitchers to face Oakland. Half hit, six plus innings pitched. Three of the guys that did not hit it ended with 17 on the dot. So if you do 17, Mr. Tyone, I will swear you off of this channel. We might have to come on a non-family friendly uh, version tomorrow. But that's without the point. Jameson Tyone, we're taking your over. 17 and a half pitching outs. Let me know you guys' favorite player prop down below. But Logan, you know what time it is, baby. It's Nerf and Nation time. Grab those flags. We were fly flying them yesterday. It was an easy winner. Not really, but we had to sweat it out. But that's what a Nerf Nation is about. Sweating out a no one first inning. We need six quick outs. Today we're going back to the well. Brewers raised. No one first inning minus 115 on FanDuel. We see about all the books around the same value for this one. Minus 120, minus 115. Sharper books don't have a line just yet. But... Why do we like this one? We got Beeks on the mound for the Rays. He's 3-0 in order for Sydney. This is not a guy that's going to go far into the game. He's going to be a guy that's probably going to give us maybe one, two, three max innings pitched. Not going to go very far. So he's known to come in, and that's what's dropped to get a couple outs. He's not going to be a guy that, you know, he's got to get his way into the game. He's got to come in throwing his stuff. 3-0 on no run first innings. We like that. That included a game against the Yankees, a very good hitting team. Look at Milwaukee, 19th in first inning runs on the road. It's a team with 26th in batting average versus lefties. Beeks is a lefty. Look, I think Beeks can get us those first three outs. What about the next guy, Logan? Yeah, Eric Lauer, right? Lauer's going to get us those next three outs. 10-3 and three on no run first innings this year. Pretty solid evidence that he's he's decent in the first inning, at least. Tampa Bay, as we mentioned yesterday, they're six in first inning runs, but does that always scare us? Is that the tell-all stat and that that for the no run first inning? Absolutely not, because so, you know game wise, Tampa Bay twenty fifth in batting average at home, so that's that number is actually getting worse. I saw a lot of people, you know, last night in the chat saying, "Oh man, the Rays bats are just you know cancer, like they're just so bad." And I'm like, they kind of are. Like that's that's not a very consistent offense, and I hope we can once again have no consistency in the first inning. Goose egg on the board for the Rays. The over under set to eight, right there. You know, there, there's a little bit of margin for error there. We love picking these no run first innings in that you know seven and a half to eight range, and, and I feel really good about this one. How about how about we have a Nerfy Nation lunchtime edition? Because I'm gonna be enjoying my lunch, enjoying a sandwich, watching a Nerfy cash. 
Yeah, this get is start at 12. It's a 12 yes. p.m. start time, so get it locked in early. We're starting the day with a no-run first inning, hopefully hit, hitting that, uh, waving these flags before even half the other games start up. But those are three plays of the day. As always, since we want to so we know, reward people for listening to the whole video, our parlay of the day, if you don't want to go to Odds Jam, it'll be Orioles plus 0.5 in the first five and Braves minus 0.5 in the first five. That's our parlay of the day. Definitely go check that out. And as a reminder, our regular parlay today, if you want to go check it out, is on Odds Jam podcast live at 10 a.m. Eastern time. We'd appreciate it if you show some love on that. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Logan and I will be back again Thursday morning. We'll see you guys then.